and y'all could really mobilize for some positivity, man. That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? If we got thousands of people out in the street just all taking a kneel and really just making a strong statement, it'd be way stronger than tearing shit up. But if we got to tear shit up and that's all we can do, then shit, that, I guess that's it. You too, what to do? It's your boy True Main, the truth to do it and never lose it. Back again with another video. And today we headed to the barbershop. We renovating, we painting, we're gonna do the floors over and everything. I'm gonna take y'all with me. I know I look crazy, but I'm going to paint. Don't judge me. These are my painting clothes. Don't judge me. Putting my medicine together and then about to roll out. That's true. Yeah, yeah, we at the, we at the barbershop. I thought I was playing, I'm serious. I'm about to paint the walls and taking the screws out right now. We're gonna take the bagged up the TVs. And I'm gonna do the cameras next. Tape up the AC. We're gonna get new floors. I'm showing everything in the back right now. Yes, sir. So, uh, Stay tuned, man. I'm going to keep working. Why well, beat that thing up like a boombox? I'm a gangster, bitch. I am not a... Work in progress, you know what I'm saying? Put the first coat on already, you know what I'm saying? Now we uh putting the second coat on. Hopefully we won't need a third coat, but you know what I'm saying? We covering up black.
finish with the paint. New floors is in. I'll show you what, what it used to look like. This used to be the floors right there. Walls are black. We're keeping it, keeping it lit back here. A little break room, a little multi-purpose room. And in here, it's all bright and ready for business. Now we, not, now we need to put the shelves up. Drill some shelves to the wall. Maybe even put some lights on the walls. Put, put the chairs in here. Be back for business. YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy Trumaine. The truth to do it and never lose it. Back again, same video, different day. Showing y'all the progress of the barber shop. Pretty much got it back up and running. We got. Few more things we got to do. We got to put some uh, more uh, decorations on the wall and everything. But see the progress. I'm ready for business. It's not all the way done, but we're definitely back in business. Officially open at the barber shop. We got the clothing store open. Things is looking a little better with this quarantine opening up. But you know, I see around the world, in different cities, in different states, people protesting, and now they got curfew, and it's really looking ugly out here in America. I definitely want to say rest in peace to George Floyd, and I'm definitely with and support his family and all those who are with him in protest. I wanna say that when we move, we wanna move strategically, at least me. I like to move strategically. I know a lot of people that don't. And uh, things work out fine for them. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. If you wanna just freestyle it, and that's, and you think that's gonna work with you, I can't, I can't really say it won't, but. You know, with me, I like to be very calculated and I like to do things that I know that it's gonna matter, make sense, and, uh, you know, put me in the best position for my future. You know what I'm saying? That's just period, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I definitely like to sur surround myself with like-minded people, so I'm not gonna volunteer myself to be surrounded by people that I don't know their intentions or, or what they trying to do. You see, you know, when, you get a large gathering like that, you're always gonna have the enemy in there and you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between your enemy and your friend and the person that's really with you. So you, you really gotta be mindful of that as you go out here and you protest and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Just be mindful that everybody might not be down for what you're down for. So, you know, if you're able to, to gather a crowd of people before you even go to those places it's best to be on the same mindset with one another so then y'all can find other people that are on the same mindset and y'all can really mobilize for some positivity man that's what it's all about you know what i'm saying if we got thousands of people out in the street just all taking a kneel and really just making a strong statement it'd be way stronger than tearing shit up but if we got to tear shit up and that's all we can do, then shit, that, I guess I know there's it. other ways and more positive ways to do shit. You know what I'm saying? We got to come together. You know what I'm saying? If, if all 50 states are protesting, then that shows that 
there can be a large amount of people that come together and and have a logical way of thinking and way of doing things. You know what I'm saying? Especially with so many celebrities being quiet. You know what I'm saying? That needs to change or else y'all are part of the problem. Michael Jordan, you know, um, Oprah, you know, um, you know the, the, the ones with billions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all should have press conferences and all that, you know? Or else you're part of the corporation. But I just want to say my condolences out to, to the family. And uh, let's make sure we don't tear up black businesses. Let's make sure we have a cause for what we're doing and not just doing things just to do it. I understand there's going to be people out there that take advantage. You know what I'm saying? Just don't combine the people that's taking advantage of opportunity versus the people that's really trying to change things and and put things in the face of the people that are ignoring it. So many people are ignoring racism and ignoring how bad it is. Because guess what? If if George Floyd would have would have survived, nobody would be protesting. If if they would if they wouldn't have got this on video, nobody would be protesting. So you just got to think about how many people this happens to that it doesn't get documented that they do survive. If he survives, so what? It's st- he still should be fired. He still should be uh, arrested for attempted murder. But they do the most to us when they arrest us, guilty or not, minor or not. So they wonder why when we get pulled over and we become aggressive, it's because, bro, you're messing with us. We know it, but everybody else don't know it. And they want to just say, oh, what did he do to get murdered? Or what did he do to this and that? You don't have to do anything. That's the point. That's what y'all need to see. So on that note, we at the shop. I'm about to sign off, man. I love y'all. Peace. Could you be my number one fan? You 